Hey there, this is Alex Slide, and in this video I will show you how to use the virtual science simulator. Now this software is a patient monitoring software, now I will show you how to use this. When you first download the file from this website, then you will be showing this file on your desktop. When you open this file, you will be given to extract all of the files. Then you will extract this. It's got bring 12 items. You'll close the non-extracted file. Go to the setup. Then you will click on install. When you're done, close this window, then launch the virtual science simulator software. Now this window will come up. Now this is the operator interface. And this is the training window. Now you can adjust heart rate. You will change the EC you will check mark ECG available. Then it will show the ECG interface. You will activate all of the patient monitoring parameters. You will check heart rate, SpO2, ETCO2, respiration, and also an IBP. Then you will find EKG treatments, one sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, AC sleep, ventricular bradycardia, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, dorsards, the pointers. These are the rhythms that you should <coughs> test out before uh, or even running the software. Now I will choose and the heart rate <coughs> can also be changed then you will change I would want to change the rhythm to ventricular tachycardia and this rhythm will come up next you will defibrillate the heart rhythm you in the next rhythm drop down I will select sinus rhythm then I will analyze the patient it's going to be analyzing analyzing no, and no shock CPR. advised CPR. continue CPR then you will start the CPR but before doing this, most critically, just go ahead and charge the defibrillator. Then chalk the EKG rhythm. Then it will bring the rhythm back to sinus rhythm. You can also sync the EKG regime to automatically put the marker on top of the QRS complex. <coughs> you can see this is the QRS complex and you will if you want to disable the syncing just go ahead and disable syncing. Then if you would want to um, uh, disable and enable system sensor, you can do that as well. Then, to start the NIBP, just go ahead and start the NIBP. Then we'll measure the NIBP. Uh. 
Let me on IBPS 122 by 81. Now this is systolic and the systolic measurement is 122 and the diastolic is 81. And the SPA2 is 98. It is 40 mmHg. Stand clear. Push. Analyze. And this will prompt you to start the fibrillator. Now what we need to do is to change the heart rhythm to ventricular fibrillation. Then it should appear in ventricular fibrillation. You can see the rhythm is changing. Then you will analyze the monitor. I mean the defibrillator. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Then you will charge shock the advised defibrillator. Stand clear. Push red button to shock. Then this is the correct button which you should press to shock the EKG defibrillator. Then it will move again back to sinus rhythm. Then you will click and start CPR. Then it will start to show the EKG rather than <coughs> in CPR motion artifact. It will give you about 121 seconds. You can see it's counting to 93 seconds. Then it will further decrease when the CPR will start. And if you want to stop CPR, you will stop CPR. Then we'll, we have also have the pacer function available. Now in the pacer, you will be able to adjust the pacer. Click on the pacer. Then you will adjust the rate of the EKG. Maximum is 90. Then no, we'll just 90. Then the current, it will be maximum. <coughs> it will be maximum 200. It will look like this. You can also increase the energy joules up to the highest 360 joules. I'll bring it back to 200 or even 150 joules, that is far little for advanced defibrillation occurring in VT or VF. And this is how a patient monitor works. You Stand clear, also push, analyze. Use the defibrillator each time when this prompts you to. Now, for this, again, you need to change it to ventricular fibrillation and then you need to charge and shock the defibrillator again and again when you to hear this prompt. Start the CPL and each time this prompt will appear and that's how you defibrillate. And you can also, um, uh, <coughs> you can also check the documentation. This is how the data is performed. And thank you for watching this video. And if the video helped you, feel free to put them in the comments section below. And thank you very much. And my name is Ali, and see you in the next one.